Forbes has said that XRP will be worth between $200 and $400 in the next two weeks. It's huge news that Ripple and Nestle have made a settlement and that the SEC will not be appealing the lawsuit against Ripple. This information was leaked to BitBoy. This is very important news for people who own XRP, so you should stay tuned until the end. Was a part of SWIFT, talked about how the global banks, including SWIFT, were involved in the Ripple lawsuit. They sued Ripple on purpose to buy time to make their own XRP knockoff, but it didn't work. So now they've decided to be a part of it instead of trying to attack it. The fact that banks are now interested in XRP is big news. The next four weeks will see a lot of big changes. JP Morgan will officially accept XRP for mortgage and credit card payments. Wells Fargo will do the same and Grayscale will start an XRP ETF and trust fund. If they don't make you sell your XRP, this will be the biggest transfer of wealth from rich people to poor people in history. It looks like they've already started this process since Forbes says that XRP will go from $200 to $400 in the next four weeks. However, some exchanges like Binance are blocking XRP transfers, which means you can't get your XRP into a cold wallet. I told you guys that this was going to happen and now it's starting to happen. They're doing the same thing again, which is blocking people from withdrawing their XRP. There are also rumors that they are trying to sell your XRP at these rates before the real dollar per XRP price. Before we begin, we are giving away a huge amount of XRP. To join, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this video, and make sure your friends do. The same. Now we can get right to the point JP Morgan is going to accept XRP for mortgage and credit card payments. Ladies and gentlemen, many people are telling you to sell your XRP for $10, $20, $20, $20, but that's not what you want to do, so don't listen to them. Say you want to sell $100 worth of XRP, don't fall for the trick that these people are telling you online, sell your XRP for $20 or $30 instead. You could make tens of thousands of dollars with XRP if big businesses start using it. So why would you do that? In particular, the XRP ledger has a method that lets you make passive income without selling a single XRP. So why would you fall for that trick? This is what these groups are doing. They want you to be very cheap so that they can buy it back at these very low prices and sell it for at least a thousand to three or four thousand dollars at retail. This way they trick people into paying more and give it to them for a lot less. That's why I already know that idea, guys. It's been seen. It happened to me with Luna Classic. They sold my Luna Classic automatically for almost nothing. All of a sudden they said, oh, it's back on the market now for tens of dollars. I'm no longer going to fall for that trick. And the right way to do this is to think of a number like $10,000. Don't believe the price forecasts of $10 or $100 per XRP. XRP will actually be worth tens of thousands of dollars. There have been signs that banks are starting to accept and use XRP. And it's clear that once big companies start using XRP, the price will go through the roof. Plus, I get it, guys. You want to cash out and buy that nice house or car. The XRP Ledger Cashback Passive Income System makes this very easy to do without selling a single XRP. That is run by the Coin Trading Fund. As of now, the Crypto Trading Fund is the first blockchain-based passive income scheme. It was created on the XRP Ledger and the Polygon chain, and it really does make money. While you sleep, you basically own CTF tokens of any amount. As soon as you own CTF tokens, you will start getting idle income every month. Like a part of the money that's being redistributed every day, which is 1% of every sale going back to people who own CTF tokens. Yes, this is very interesting. The more CTF tokens you own, the more money you make, and that money is idle income for you. You can put it back into investments or sell it and buy a nice house or car. You are the only one who can make that choice. You are doing all of this, though, even though you haven't sold a single XRP or CTF token. There is no work involved in this. The best thing about it is that it's not like a holding platform where you give your XRP to a website and get it back every month. This is part of your own smart deal. This is in your cold wallet because it's part of how they work. You do, however, own the CTF ticket. It can be kept in a cold wallet where no one can get to it. Of course, every time someone sells something on their ecosystem, 1% will be sent back to holders immediately. And the more CTF tokens you own, the more inactive income you will make every month. Passive income, in a sense, you can make money while you sleep. That's exactly what it means. Because you don't have to do anything, your money just makes you more money. And of course, the more money you have, the more money you can invest. And I'm doing this because I really believe that the next group will be worth $10,000. But I also have plans like I want to buy a nice car, a nice house, and go on vacation. And I'm planning to do this by collecting as many CTF tokens as I can and investing all the money I'm getting in. Passive income which right now I think I'm getting about $200 every day. With that money, 
I keep putting it back into the business because my goal is to be able to live on that passive income alone without selling any of my crypto tokens. I'm waiting and gathering as much as I can so that one day I can make $5,000 to $7,000 a month, after which I can finally get that money. And thank goodness I don't have to sell any of my crypto kids to pay for my nice living and other costs. This is where it's at, guys, this idea is that you can keep your asset and still make passive income from it. This is where it really changes things for your kids and their age, because it always makes you money without you having to do anything, and the price keeps going up. I'm going to be honest with you, the crypto trading fund token, or CTF token, has been really interesting to me. It's been making a huge breakout pattern, which you can see here. It is being used by institutions like JP Morgan. Yes, they did take XRP for mortgage and credit card fees, but this is what it says. JP Morgan Chase said it would not accept XRP for credit card and mortgage payments and transfers. This is a big deal for cryptocurrencies. Customers will now be able to pay with XRP and then use CTF tokens to open an account on the XRP ledger system. This also holds true for the BRICS nations. We talk about how XRP is used in BRICS nations. They will also use the cashback feature that was built into the XRP ledger, which is the crypto trade fund. As an example, XRP has a supply of about 100 billion tokens, while CTF only has 120 million. This means that the price could easily go through the roof. The XRP system will be able to handle between 30 and $50 trillion, and the CTF token will be the one that makes that possible. This is why the market cap of only $40 billion is so small. It's not much, but if the CTF token had a market value of just $40 billion, it would go from 96 cents to over $1,400 right now. It's crazy, but the potential is wild and the money-making opportunities are even bigger. That being said, there is never enough financial help. If you need financial advice, you should always make your own. Also, you should check them out. Their website has a lot of information and it's available on the Polygon chain. They were recently listed on MEX and the XT per Liger, but I think the passive income mechanism is only on the Polygon chain right now. So keep that in mind. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to get updates on all of my new videos, share this video, and follow me on Twitter. Almost 40,000 people follow them. We're almost ready to drop a follow on that. I hope you all like this video. Peace and see you next time.